Welcome to Nimcom Solutions. My name's Jake. We're going to talk GMRS or General Mobile Radio Service today based off some feedback I've got from my last two videos, the disaster communications video and the emergency communication plan basics. Some of your feedback on the, my website, the questionnaire. If you left your email, I will be getting back to you. I'm working through the list of people trying to knock out a couple a day. However, if you did ask some GRMS questions, I might be answering some of those today. And back in 2022, I did a video on my other channel, Ravenwood Acres, which will be linked down below, where I talked about how I felt that GRMS is probably the best voice communication, line of sight type communication solution for most people's emergency communication plan. And I say most because there is no perfect anything. It, it, each individual or groups of individuals have different variables that affect, you know, what's the best solution. And then if they're mobile, they're moving, then that changes because your terrain dramatically changes how effective your radios are, unless you're dealing with non line of sight type radios using over the horizon type communication radios, then that changes everything. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. So let's just we're going to talk some of the pros of why I think Jeremus is, you know, that solution. And then a little bit of the cons. We'll look at some of the equipment out there that's available. So let's talk pros. Pros, the biggest thing is one of our missions here is to help remove barriers to emergency communications because it tends to be a little bit of an overwhelming subject for a lot of people. And I try to break things down and provide some basic solutions that might help people kind of get into that whole emergency, you know, fill those holes in their emergency communication plan, because that's where you should start. Plenty of us probably go out and buy a radio first, then make plans later, but hey, you're moving forward either way. <laughs> so I'm not going <laughs> to chastise you for that. The affordability and off the shelf ready, simple to use is kind of that's what GRMS offers for most people. You know, you grab, grab a radio, a walkie talkie as a lot of people would know it, or a handy talkie or an HT in the amateur radio world, handheld radio, period. Turn the power switch on, turn up the volume, turn it to the channel that you've designated in your emergency communications plan or channels, depending on how you have your plan set up and push the PTT, you know, push the talk and Say what you have to say and release the button. <laughs> it's that simple, right? You're up and running. Some of these radios now are even offering, you're going to spend more money, GPS location and SMS texting using an app on your phone. So there's a lot becoming available in this space that really might help people out. Yes, Jeremis, legally, you're supposed to get a license through the FCC. It's $35. It covers your whole family. It lasts for 10 years. However, if you're on those frequencies and then none of this is legal advice and no one, and you're not being a jerk, no one's probably ever going to know for one, two. Uh, they, I mean, if you try to get on some of the repeater frequencies, maybe, but that's my other point. You do have the option for repeaters, right? This is another pro. So, and the repeaters are becoming fairly affordable from some companies and we'll look at some of that equipment. So, that could dramatically, depending on where you can locate it or if there's some in your area, mygmrs.com, uh, I'll link that here in the video, is also a great resource and you can look up your local area and see if there's already some repeaters in your area. Some are private, but I think some of them you can actually email if they list it, the, the owners and request you know, access. So that's a good way, good place to start when you're doing your planning. Uh, before you buy, before you spend money, because, you know, everyone's budgets are different and some people uh, maybe have a limited budget. They'd rather spend it on buying four radios, you know, to meet the needs of their, their group or family than buying only two radios and one mobile repeater or something. So if there's already a repeater in your area, you could utilize that but you need to do that research yourself. So let's take a look at some of this equipment, then we'll wrap up with my final thoughts. Okay, so Midland. Midland is a company that I have high respect for. I own quite a few of their products. The quality, 
you get with Midland is awesome. Um, however, when I look at the price tag on their new five watt radio, yeah, it is uh, waterproof, heavy duty, but man, oh man, like $200. Um, yeah, that's a hard one to swallow, especially when you jump over to like Redivis and I own a couple, actually I own two of their, not this model, but their GRMS only uh, HTs. Here's a solution that might meet someone's needs right here. And it's $569. It's four radios and the mobile repeater. Now, don't think the kit comes with a, um, and this repeater can be set up like in a permanent setup too, but I don't know if it, it probably doesn't come with an antenna. So you would have to spend more money, obviously, on the, um, you know, base station style antenna, where if you were setting it up in a like permanent setup, like at your home or somewhere up on a hilltop. But if you look here, like it's got, you know, it can plug into your car power, you know, cigarette lighter adapter there. Um, yeah. So th when you look at those prices, you know, you, you go over to their GRM recipes on Redivis and they have tons of different and they sell a lot of package deals. Um, I've only had those two radios for, well, a year and a half maybe now. So I can't say too much to their quality, but, um, you know, they... They've held up so far, and I haven't heard a whole lot of other complaints online. So here's another one, the the B-Tech or Beofeng Tech. This is what I was talking about with the GRMS Pro. It's, it is submersible, and it offers that application, that app that you can get with a for either iPhone or Android devices, and you can do location sharing. You can imagine how beneficial that could be in a disaster Uh and then, you know, the apps, you can send actual messages. It's got no, no weather radio alerts. It's got a compass built in. Um, it For $159 or $54 compared to one of these, it's, you know, it's a, that's a big jump. And what I've recommended on other videos is maybe if you're building out your communications plan and you're buying the equipment, you're like, well, I don't, I can't afford to spend $154, $155 on each radio, but he had one or, you know, one in one group and one in the other group or one at one location and one at the other location. Uh, and then a couple of the more affordable radios, you're now, you know, talking different. So um, go back to the first page here just to show you that there's, you know, like they sell ones that are as low as 30, basically $40 a pop. Um, yes, you could go out and buy an $18, $20 bail thing and relatively do the same thing if it's unlocked, but um, there's potential issues there. So uh, here is the, this is the forms, but the repeater list, if you go, all right, so over here in the repeaters, you can go like, I'm just gonna use North Carolina because obviously you should know why. <laughs> But example, here's one in the Asheville area. And notice how some of them say permission required, open system, so on and so forth. So we're going to just click on this one. It's going to take you over to the map. Now, if you, it says range estimated five miles, right? And if you go in, obviously real world testing would have to uh, be done to know for sure. But if this is where you live, this is just an example. You click on that, you look at it, and it has that little five mile ring on there. Well, if you live over here on this end of Asheville, but you know you might not get line of sight because of a hilltop or a ridge line or whatever, but somebody else that you need to talk to lives over here off of I 40 or something, it might work for you. So it gets you going on your planning process and figuring out what equipment you might need. And then, of course, you're going to have to test this stuff out. Let's wrap up. If you guys enjoyed what we this video, you've watched this long. I hope you subscribe to the channel. You like, you check out our social media links, follow us along there, and stay tuned for more emergency communication videos. Thanks for watching.